Well, if you can see this flapper, I just pulled this out of the, the Mega Shed toilet here. It is not the right one. Um, you can see the ring there, it's not quite lining up. So I think these uh, little rubber brackets there are too long. I need to get a shorter version so it fits properly. So that's what I'm going to do. That's the project for today. Going to, I'm going to go to Lowe's this time, I think. And just pick up a flapper and hopefully find the right one. Because I have no idea what brand this toilet is. I mean, all I see is a date. May 25 of 1982. <laughs> so this thing is very old. Um, push button style. But I cannot find a name anywhere on it. So I'm just going to try to take this old flapper and try to match something up as best I can and hope I get it right. So we'll head on to Lowe's. Another early morning. It's actually 52 degrees. It's actually pretty nice out. I think we're, I'd like to say we're finally over the cold here locally. Our temperatures are going to be getting into the 70s today and lows were, well, they're in the 50s. Yep, it's trash day. How's this house coming along? Completely gutted, it looks like. But, uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, school bus. Uh, forgot about those. What time is it going on? 8 o'clock? Yeah, spring forward is, uh, it's coming weekend. So, yeah, that way my clock will be right. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's police out this morning. No, leave me alone, that's good. Oh, amazing. Traffic is not too bad. Another policeman. Oh. The radar didn't go off, so I guess I'm okay. Look at this goof. What a moron. Fancy Camaro. Must be nice with your flashy toys. Atlas van lines. Well, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I know they were still in business. Go new places. <laughs> there comes another idiot. Cutting out in front of me. Yep, the goofs are out this morning for sure. Ah, we got for gas at the BP. Wow, 199. Yeah, BP is always high. All right. Here it lows. Get in and get this flapper and go home. Yeah, already got the flowers out. Alert. Okay. Yeah, there's the exit, so I'll just swing on around over here. That's good. I'm leaving a cart in the middle of nowhere. Can't get it to the cart rack, can you? Oh boy. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go ahead and move on up to here. Just make it easy and get on out. All right, let's go get this part. All right. Welcome to the news. Nice grills. Big old riding rollers, grill tops. John Deere Green. Uh, fancy washers and dryers. How much? Eight hundred dollars. Yeah, right. Thousand, twelve hundred. No way. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I'm not paying that much for a washer and dryer. Foreign. Yeah. Plumbing. No, let's see. Right over here. Yeah. 
is probably just mostly plumbing. I don't know if they got toilet stuff here. Uh, we'll see. Looks like it's just actual. Yeah. You know, plumbing stuff. I don't see a flapper. Keep looking. You can ask me if I do a lot of plumbing. <laughs> no. No, I don't. Yeah, here's the flappers. See what we can find here. Corky. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'll have to figure out what I need. Wow. Well, we'll go with this one, I guess. Because I don't know, they don't have much of a selection here. This is pretty much it for the universal ones. Three inch, two inch, I know I don't have a three, so. Okay, well, I'll give it a shot. I don't know, let's get out of here. Fancy molders. Well, should probably fix it, hopefully. We'll have it on out now. Well, the dude's got a, got a Metallica shirt on, I hear you. <laughs> like Master of Puppets or something. Well, that's funny. Alright, let's roll. Yeah, store alarm going off. More flowers. Okay. Ooh, Mustang getting towed. Well, that's good, at least the traffic's not too bad this time of morning. Another one on a flatbed. Doesn't look like fun. Coming traffic. You can see this is a new left lane. People still can't figure this out. Not bad. Blasting through all the signals. That's good. Working with me. There's a blue light special. Yep, ruining dudes. Tuesday morning. Quiet on the train tracks. Mm -hmm. Pretty abandoned house. Well, let's get to the house here and we'll see if this flapper works. Okay, and now that I got some light, it looks like the rubber piece there, the rubber ring is missing. So that's probably contributing to the issue. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get that on and put the flapper on. All right, now I'll go ahead and apply this uh, quick dry sealant to the bottom of the ring. A little something like that, and then we'll put it down here. All right. Sitting pretty good. So now let it sit for about 15 minutes according to the instructions. All right now we'll go ahead and put the flapper on. Oh, yeah, looks like it fits a lot better than it did before. I'll hook it up. Okay, chain's hooked up. I had to adjust it a little bit, about four, yeah, about four lengths. So yeah, I'll get ready to fill it up with water and test it out. Okay, let's turn the water on. And then we'll let it fill up. Test it. Right about there. Nice. I hear no drips, no leaks at all. Awesome. That did it. <laughs> cool. First time I've done 
a plumbing job like that. So, excellent. Well, let's try it out. And then we'll fill back up again. Awesome. Yep, no drips, no leaks. Perfect. Well, there you go. Replacement of a flapper in a old 1982 <laughs> toilet. And amazingly, the Universal Corky uh, flapper worked. I'm glad I got that kit with the ring and the sealant because that did the job right there. So, all right, another fun project done. So, until the next. Next time, adios.